weekday, cup of the word. We're in Psalm 90, and this is the only psalm ascribed to Moses, therefore making it one of the most powerful psalms in all of the Bible, and also most likely the oldest of all of the psalms. And it's very fitting that it should be the first psalm in the fourth section or book of psalms. Psalms are broken into various books or sections, and this one begins a new section. Moses starts in the first six verses of this psalm by talking about God's nature and dwelling upon his eternal nature and God's ability to see things in, on a vast scale and make plans that are so much bigger and stronger and wiser than us finite humans can do. How he's able to, to look with his infinite wisdom at eternal things with large scale goals in mind. And then from verse 7 through about verse 12, it emphasizes the opposite. We move from looking at God's great and vast and impressive wisdom to the shortness and the finite nature and, and just the weakness of man, to how our, our lives are short and our bodies are frail and, and uh, we, we just don't see things very clearly and our failings often come to light and, and, and uh, everything about us is just so minuscule in comparison to the, the height and the breadth and the depth of God. And then the rest of the psalm from verse 13, after saying, God, let us count our days, from verse 13 on, uh, really puts an emphasis on the idea of God, since you're so big and we're so little, God, use your bigness to take care of us in our littleness. God, uh, don't let my little life be one where it's so short that I can't see how great you are. Let me have a window into the beauty of who you are and your ability to create and make things and, and, and change the world, your glory. Uh, let me in my short life see what's truly important. And, and God, even though my life is short, let it be a life that has some purpose and meaning to it. Uh, don't, don't let it be a waste, a, a life that could just as easily not existed and, and really had no impact upon the rest of the world. Let it let our short lives have value to them and not just be a meaningless existence out of their weakness and frailty. And so here's Moses, one who spoke to God as a friend would speak. And he looked at God and saw how great God was. And he looked at himself and he saw how small he was. And he said, God, use your strength to make my weakness not something in vain. What a wonderful message from one of the most faithful men the world ever saw. That's your daily cup, and we'll see you tomorrow.